welcome to my channel Winged Adventure. Our topic today is about single pilot aircraft operations. By 2030, single pilot commercial aircraft operations, according to the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, are absolutely not realistic. The chief expert of operational suitability at EASA, Andrea Boyardi, dismissed the idea that commercial aircraft would be flown by a single pilot by 2030. The Italian agency official did not however, rule out the possibility that, by 2027, some flight segments might only have one pilot in the cockpit. Two French manufacturers, Airbus and Dassault, have proposed allowing operators to fly with just one pilot during the cruise phase. Two pilots would still be required in the very front seats of the aircraft for takeoffs and landings. Boyardi is one of the project's technical leads. EASA hired the Netherlands Aerospace Center to work on the Extended Minimum Crew Operations, Single Pilot Operations, Safety Risk Assessment Framework Project and LR. And LR received 930,000 euros or 994,230 US dollars from the EU's Horizon Europe Research and Innovation Initiative to evaluate the viability of extended minimum crew operations OEEM CO and single pilot operations by 2025 and 2030, respectively. The evaluation will take place between September 2022 and August 2024. Pilot workload, pilot error, pilot incapacitation, weariness, sleep inertia, and other crucial SIPOS-related topics will all be investigated in this research. Project Connect has been developed by Airbus and Cathay Pacific, a company based in Hong Kong. The project's objective is to create and test a long-haul single pilot system. The partnership between Airbus and Cathay Pacific, along with other industry-wide initiatives, aims to address the aviation sector's acute pilot shortage. However, the attempt has not persuaded pilots themselves. Sully Sullenberger, the captain of a U.S. Airways Airbus A320 that crash-landed in the Hudson River in New York, United States, without a single casualty, remarked, having only one pilot on a commercial airplane flies in the face of evidence and logic. We have improved the safety of commercial flying in part by placing two fully licensed and experienced pilots in each cockpit. Every safety protocol we have is based on having two pilots work seamlessly together as a professional team, cross-checking, supporting each other, managing the workload, catching and correcting errors, and even collaborating verbally in situations where there is not even time to talk about what has happened and what needs to be done. While this is going on, the European Cockpit Association ECA, released the following statement, it is abhorrent that manufacturers and EASA are masking an aggressive drive for reduced crew operations as a remedy for pilot fatigue a very serious problem, or a labor shortage an inexistent problem. Here are some information about single pilot aircraft operations. Aircraft that may be operated by a single pilot as opposed to the customary two-pilot crew are referred to as single pilot operations or single pilot aircraft or SPA. Since a while ago, the aviation industry has been looking into the prospect of single pilot operations due to a number of factors, including the need to lower operating costs, address the global pilot shortage, and boost productivity. Single pilot operations might be more common by 2030 particularly in the general aviation and smaller airline sectors. It is anticipated that technological advancements like automation, artificial intelligence, and unmanned aircraft systems would significantly contribute to the safe and effective operation of single-pilot aircraft. It is crucial to remember that before single-pilot flights are widely adopted, there will probably be legislative, operational, and safety issues that need to be resolved. The aviation industry must make sure that the required legislative, technical, and operational standards are in place and that these operations are at least as safe as the two pilot operations that are currently in use. Single pilot operations have the potential to bring about significant benefits to the aviation industry, but a careful and thoughtful approach is needed to ensure the safety and reliability of these operations. Advantages of Single Pilot Operations here are some information about single pilot aircraft operations. Aircraft that may be operated by a single pilot as opposed to the customary two pilot crew are referred to as single pilot operations or single pilot aircraft or SPA. 
Since a while ago, the aviation industry has been looking into the prospect of single pilot operations due to a number of factors, including the need to lower operating costs, address the global pilot shortage, and boost productivity. Single pilot operations might be more common by 2030, particularly in the general aviation and smaller airline sectors. It is anticipated that technological advancements like automation, artificial intelligence, and unmanned aircraft systems would significantly contribute to the safe and effective operation of single-pilot aircraft. It is crucial to remember that before single-pilot flights are widely adopted, there will probably be legislative, operational, and safety issues that need to be resolved. The aviation industry must make sure that the required legislative, technical, and operational standards are in place and that these operations are at least as safe as the two pilot operations that are currently in use. Single pilot operations have the potential to bring about significant benefits to the aviation industry, but a careful and thoughtful approach is needed to ensure the safety and reliability of these operations. Advantages of Single Pilot Operations Safety the safety of single pilot operations is a major concern, and the industry will need to ensure that these operations are as safe as, or safer than, current two pilot operations. Technical and operational standards. The industry will need to establish technical and operational standards for single pilot operations, including requirements for training, certification, and maintenance. Regulation. Single pilot operations are currently not widely approved by regulatory agencies, and significant changes to regulations will be necessary to allow for widespread adoption. Public Perception There may be concerns among the public regarding the safety of single pilot operations, and the industry will need to work to address these concerns through education and communication. In conclusion, single pilot operations have the potential to bring about significant benefits to the aviation industry, but a careful and thoughtful approach is needed to ensure the safety and reliability of these operations. The industry will need to address the technical, operational, and regulatory challenges and concerns associated with single pilot operations to make widespread adoption possible. To end this discussion on single pilot operations, it's important to remember that the aviation industry is constantly evolving and advancing. While single pilot operations may not be widely adopted by 2030, they represent an exciting opportunity for the industry to address some of the challenges it faces and to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and increase safety. As with any new technology or operational concept, it will take time and effort to address the technical, operational, and regulatory challenges associated with single pilot operations. However, with careful planning, collaboration, and innovation, it is possible that single pilot operations will become a common and safe way of operating aircraft in the future. In closing, it's an exciting time to be a part of the aviation industry, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for single pilot operations. Thank you for joining us on this discussion and we hope you found it informative and enlightening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.